What's happening everyone? Digital George George. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can actually verify your emails the right way as an email marketer. And please, for God's sake, never ever validate emails for free using a bulk free email verifying tool. Why Joe? Simply because they are not accurate and they come with strict limitations. You're probably going to be able to verify at most 20 emails per day. So why is it important for email marketing purposes to verify, validate, sanitize, clean your email lists before you send bulk emails to your subscribers or to a cold list? Well, the simple answer is you truly don't know if those emails are legit or not, especially if you're doing cold emailing. Maybe you bought a list from a vendor which I highly recommend you don't do, or you scrape the emails from the website on the internet. That's what they call email harvesting. So you don't know if these emails are legit or valid. So if you go ahead and just plug all these emails into your email marketing autoresponder app and click the send button, you're probably going to get a lot of balanced emails coming back. And with more balanced emails comes more problems. So most likely, you're hooked with a third-party email marketing app like MailChimp, SendGrid, ConvertKit. And if they see in their dashboard that you're getting a lot of balanced emails coming back because a lot of those emails are just bad since you didn't do your due diligence to clean them, then they're going to most likely ban you. On top of that, your domain name is going to take a massive hit from a reputational point of view. What that basically means is the more balanced emails you have, the more harm it's going to do to your credibility as an email marketer sender. And that in turn will severely and adversely affect your deliverability <sighs> score as more emails will land in the recipient spam folder. And you definitely don't want that to happen. This is the reason why it's super imperative. We must be strategic at the forefront so that we can reduce the likelihood of balanced emails via good list hygiene practices. Okay, now that we got the boring stuff out of the way, let me show you the top three vendors I use to clean my email list. All right, by far, my number one pick is Online Email Verified. Yes, I know their website looks like it's from the 90s, but don't ever judge a book by its cover. Looks can be very deceiving. The reason why I highly recommend this vendor as opposed to some of the other ones you know of, like Never Bounce, is because... First of all, their price point is very, very reasonable and affordable compared to the competition. They've been in business for a very long time. Don't quote me on this, but I believe they've been in business for more than 10 years. Uh, they've verified more than 400 billion emails. That is a shit ton. And some of the email marketing experts that I know of, they use this tool. So if they're using it and they're making millions of dollars online, there's a reason why they're using it, okay? Not only that, but their accuracy is spot on. You're never going to find an email verify tool that gives you 100% accuracy. It just does not exist in the marketplace. But you can safely assure yourself that with online email verify, you're going to get very conservative results. So yes, there might be some false positives and false negatives, but rest assured, um, it's better to play, play it safe than be sorry. I would rather have it spit more invalid emails than less because this is my email reputation that i'm taking into consideration and i want to make sure it's pristine whenever i'm sending emails to subscribers or to a cold list so i think what's going to be useful here is if i show your report the very first thing you need to do is create an account and then fund your balance with money once you have money then click bulk verification and upload your csv file you can tell it to remove duplicate emails in case you don't want to run a formula in CSV to do that, or you can just have this turned off. And then choose start verification, wait a few minutes, and then it's going to generate a finalized report with all these four headings. The first heading entails all the emails, valid and invalid. The second one is just valid. The third one is just invalid. And the fourth one, which I highly believe is the most useful one, is detail. It's going to show you why those emails are invalid, the reasoning behind it. So if I pop this one open, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so I got the report opened up. We want to look at the second column. 
anything that's different from OK indicates an invalid entry. Just because an email came back invalid, like I said before, these tools are not 100% accurate. It doesn't necessarily mean that the email is in fact fake or invalid. Um, sometimes the recipient can have an aggressive spam filter in place. What these tools are basically doing is they're sending a ping to the recipient's inbox to check their DNS records. And if that recipient has aggressive spam filters in place, it's going to reject that ping. And so all this company can really do is mark the email as invalid. Whereas in fact, it's probably valid if I'm making sense here. Now, in case if you're wondering, well, Joe, how can I truly decipher between whether an email is truly invalid or not? Or how can I have a better understanding behind the language of these terms? Don't worry, you're not at a complete loss. One of the main reasons why I also like this company, why I recommend it to my clients is because they have something called a cheat sheet. So they're going to give you the definitions of these terms so that you can have a better understanding as to what they actually freaking mean at the end of the day. And the way to access that is you want to go back to their website. You want to click on email verification results guide. And then this tab will open up, scroll down, and you're going to see the definition behind these terms. That way you can understand what they mean and you can take appropriate action as to what to do next with that email, whether you want to keep it or discard it. The second bad boy on the list, never bounce. Now, they are one of the top-notch, most reliable email verifier tools out there. A lot of companies, businesses, individuals, solopreneurs, they use it. As a matter of fact, over 125,000 users trust NeverBounce for list hygiene purposes. Now, they are a bit pricey, so I only recommend this company if you have the budget. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing so you can get... Um, an idea of how much they cost. So for up to 10,000 emails, they charge 0 0.008 cents. So let's do the math here. Times 0 0.008. That's $80 to verify a list of 10,000 or less emails. Now, if we look at the first option, you're going to see how significantly cheaper they are. Significantly. So you'll see that they're charging 0 0.2 cents per 1,000 emails, not 1,000 emails per. So if we do 10,000 and when we divide it by 1,000 and we multiply that by 0.2, it's $2 to verify a list of 10,000 emails. You can see why I recommended this company as my number one pick versus any other company across the board. Okay, last but not least, the third option I recommend is email list verify. They're actually pretty good in terms of pricing and accuracy. And just to kind of give you an idea of how much they charge, it's $24 for 10,000 emails. Not bad. They're like a hybrid between online email verify and never bounce. So my ultimate recommendation before I actually end this video is if you're on the fence, you're indecisive, it's all going to boil down to cost. Like I said before, there's not going to be a tool out there that's 100% accurate to verify your emails. So what I would recommend you do is assuming that your budget is mediocre, it's in the middle, I would definitely choose two of these to tools. You can go with email list verify and the first one, online email verify and compare and contrast the results. That way you have an idea, right? It's better to use more than one tool to sanitize your list. And then from there, you can go ahead and make a much better informed decision on what to do next. All right, all right, all right, my champs. That wraps up this session. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, smash that bell for notifications. It's a great way to support me. And if you actually got education from this video, I would be very appreciative if you just leave a comment right below this one. That way I can always do videos based on what you like. And as a quick note, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you're part of my VIP community by subscribing to my website. I'll leave the link in the description box right below this one. That way you can always get access to the freshest, newest tech gadgets to speed up your growth in the digital marketing world. Plus, you'll get to see exactly what I'm doing each and every single day to grow my Instagram accounts virally. So I highly recommend you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Okay, so the inspiring quote for today is, as you know me by now, try not to become a man of success, but try to become a man of value.